is the Eureka Camp Cafe. It's the absolute dream for coffee-loving car campers looking to take the comforts of their home brewing setup on the road. Thanks to the large capacity of the system, you'll be the life of the campground. Let's take a look at the details. The Camp Cafe includes all the components you need for a hot cup of coffee in the great outdoors. Just add coffee and your stove. This kit includes a 2.5 liter kettle for boiling your water. The kettle is made from durable, hard anodized aluminum and features a food grade polypropylene lid. The silicone coated handles allow for easy usage when the kettle is hot. The bottom of the kettle features patented flux ring technology to create a more efficient heat exchange between the vessel and your stove. Also included in the Camp Cafe system is a serving carafe that accommodates 12 cups of coffee. The carafe has a siliconized bottom which protects surfaces from the hot contents inside. Additional accessories include a filter holder for pour over coffee and a small scoop. The filter holder accommodates standard number four filters. To use, simply boil the appropriate amount of water in your kettle, put a filter and ground coffee in the filter holder and place it over the carafe. Then pour your hot water over the coffee and voila, you've got hot delicious coffee for you and your fellow campers. This simple to use, well-built system is designed for car camping when weight isn't so much of a concern. Eureka conveniently designed the parts of this system to nestle within one another. So while I still wouldn't recommend this for ultralight backpacking, it will take up minimal space in your car or motorcycle pannier. Built for folks who just can't be without their morning cup of joe, it's the Eureka Camp Cafe. Today, we're brewing coffee with the Boletti Mocha Pot Express. The Boletti Express is an all aluminium stovetop espresso maker, or you may refer to it as a stovetop percolator. It's the ideal coffee brewer to make good, strong coffee that's convenient and more forgiving than espresso brewing. They're compatible with gas and electric stovetops and work really well with camp style cookers too. They come in a various of sizes from one cup all the way up to 18 cups. Today, I'm brewing with the most common six cup model. So let's get brewing using the Boletti Mocha Pot Express. What I'll do first is weigh out and grind my beans. I'm using the Well Home Grinder and what I'll usually do to get the right amount of coffee is simply use the filter basket of the Boletti to achieve the right amount of beans. You'll never get it wrong this way, but in weighing your coffee out, the basket holds approximately 40 grams. And that's the Boletti Mocha Pot Express for you. It's a really durable coffee maker that makes a strong coffee you can enjoy on your own, but always better with a friend. This is the Encamp Cafe Coffee Maker. And this is what we're gonna be getting into today, checking out and putting through its paces, brewing up some coffee and testing it out here, out in the woods. Now this is a mocha pot style coffee maker. And by that, you have a reservoir down in the bottom right here. So this reservoir holds the water, heats it up. On one side, it has a pressure relief valve so that too much pressure doesn't build up in there inside of this bottom container basket for for coffee and so you'll put the coffee grounds in there screw the top on heat up the water that water pressurizes push it up pushes it up through a filter a metal filter that's in there permanently and then inside of the top reservoir that pressurized water goes up through that basket of your grounds up through and comes out and lands in this reservoir as coffee so Kind of like a percolator system and anybody who's done a mocha pot before this is essentially a mocha pot now it does perform a little bit differently than a mocha pot the mocha pots kind of come out um, very smooth very they just flow out this one starts flowing but then does a lot of spitting um, but still produces a pretty decent cup of coffee everything here is made of stainless steel so it's built to stand withstand some abuse and really hold up to camping and taking it out in the backcountry. It is designed for camping. There are many ways to make coffee, particularly on the go. And cake cups are a common platform that allow you to make a single serve, no mess cup of coffee. But when you're on the go, you don't want to deal with the complexity of taking the entire cake cup brewer. Even the smaller ones are harder to pack than you really want. And then you have to deal with electricity. Sometimes you're on the go and you don't have a plug. Well, I'm on a little mini vacation with the family and I'm trying out several different ways to make coffee. And one of them is a new way to make K-Cups on the go. And then we'll check out the Presto My Go coffee maker for K-Cups. Comes with a little 
uh, fake K-cup basically. You can fill this with your own coffee and put it in there if you want to. I always use my K-cups. This is the brewing side. It's got two pieces. This is the water chamber. Cool thing about it is it does have some gradations here. Six, eight, and ten ounces. It says ten ounces is max. I imagine that's because this comes down just a little ways and you don't want it to get uh, overfilled. Another cool thing is that this is microwavable. You can fill this with water, put it in the microwave, get it boiling, and you're good to go. This is the bottom. This is where your K-cup goes. It has a little like a spike down there that punctures the K-cup. And then the other main spike is down here. Put the K-cup in there, screw it down, and it's ready to go. That's about as simple as it gets. Dimensions are 4.1 by 4.1 by 9 inches. Weight is 14 ounces, so not too bad on the weight. Like I said, you can use a K-cup or your own coffee in this little device. And then all you need is some boiling water and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Whether you're camping, hiking, or traveling, keeping your gear lean is key. But sometimes you just want to enjoy some of the comforts of home. Now for me, that's a hot, fresh espresso every morning. I and mean, when I heard about the Wakako Nano Presso, I knew I had to give it a try. It's essentially a small handheld espresso press. You put boiling water in the reservoir and use the small handheld pump to create your own shot of espresso. I recently had a chance to test it out over a few weeks, and this is what I found. The Nano Presso has several parts, which you'll want to get to know before the first time you use it. Let's take a look here. So you've got the cup in the base, which holds some of your accessories. So you've got your little measuring cup for the coffee grounds, which also doubles as a tamper handily. There's also this little cleaning brush here. The cup comes in two parts. The yellow part here is your drinking cup. This is your water reservoir. In the top here, you have, this is where your coffee goes. There's a filter basket. And then this is the Porta filter here, which removes from the top. And then this is the pump base, which you can extend out, and that's how you'll make your espresso. I was suitably impressed with the crema quality in the Nano Presso. Now the crema is that layer of bubbles or foam that forms on top, and I was really surprised at the quality of crema that I got with the Nano Presso. Another neat feature, you can use that little press arm on the side as an extra tamper if you don't have your little measuring cup with you. It's perfectly sized and very convenient. Now Nanopresso says the patented pumping system on this device makes it capable of reaching 18 bars of stable pressure during extraction, and that's comparable to what you might expect from commercial espresso machines at your local cafe. Overall, I found I got a pretty good shot using the Nano Presso. While getting that ultimate thick and creamy espresso that comes from pro machines is hard, Nano Presso does a good job. It might be a touch on the watery side for you coffee snobs, but in my experience, it's no more so than you'd get from machines like a Jura Impressa, a Hand Presso, or a Mocha Pot. Thanks so much for watching this video. 